Okay, so my magazine is called Space Style by me, Katie Parkinson. Um, the purpose of my magazine is to inform the audience on the genre of sci-fi. And I find it will be entertaining for the readers to understand how sci-fi films are made with special effects, creative directors, and hopefully the readers can appreciate the work. Um, the genre of my product is sci-fi, focusing more of the sub-genre of the intergalactic aspect. Um, this is because I find that it's an interesting way of creating films and what goes on behind the scenes to achieve the real effect. The form. My magazine will be paperback and online. This way it can reach a large audience. The print of my magazine will be around 80 pages, which will include advertising to make the brand's income. The magazine will have a glossy finish and I find that it will be com complementary to the genre of the space. Um, the print of the magazine will be £4.99, as it will include a lot of content and will cover the prices of printing as that can be expensive. The online magazine will be £3.99. This will include the same content as the print version um, with additional interviews online that you can watch. However, it's slightly print, um, cheaper, obviously, because I'm not printing it. Um, the content. In this magazine, it will include exclusive interviews with famous actors and actresses featured in sci-fi sci films such as David Tennant, Will Smith, Carrie Fisher, and many more. There will be advertising such as beauty products, cars, and TV shows that will be targeted at the audience. It will also include the top 10 film recommendations that have high reviews and is popular with the general public. It will have advertisement for books related to sci-fi to interest those who prefer to read rather than watching films. There will be QR codes on the advertisement to make the audience to the website and get exclusive offers inside the magazine. My colour scheme. My colour scheme is dark blue and black. This is because these colours have the connota connotations with space and sci-fi. These are the colours that will be involved within the magazine. My target audience. The target audience for my magazine will be between 18 and 35 um, for both genders. This is because the genre sci-fi is most commonly watched by that age group as it has an intense theme. Having this target audience will allow me to focus on the information I'm putting across and will be tailored to focus on their needs. Resources. I'll need a camera needed to take photos for the magazine, and a computer to create the magazine and write up the content needed for the magazine. Costumes and props, this will be used to make the person on the front cover look, there, look like they are part of a sci-fi film, which will help the audience identify what the magazine is about straight away. I'm also going to need to use Photoshop, which will be used to edit photos and lay out the magazine and double page spread in, the effect, in an effective way to make it look better. Personnel. I'm going to need a photographer and someone to take the photos professionally so it looks better and will be more appealing for the audience. An editor. It will make the magazine look better and more professional and can stand out from the rest. A graphic designer to finish final touch-ups and make the magazine perfect. I'm going to need a printing company and this is useful as they can print large quantities to put in supermarkets and news agents. I'm also going to need a social media team and this is useful as they can manage the online magazine and watch out for the monthly subscriptions and how much money the online magazine makes per month distribution. The magazine can be found in supermarkets, news agents and in the cinemas. The online magazine can be accessed by simply searching up the magazine's website which is www.spaceout.co.uk.
My marketing methods. To market my magazine, I'll put posters up at busy cinemas, on the windows and on the windows at supermarkets. Additionally, online advertisement for my magazine will have a large impact, for example, pop-up ads on social media. I'll also pay influencers to promote the magazine and website. If people sign up to our website and subscribe, emails will be sent out for exclusive offers monthly to keep the audience engaged online so we don't lose any interest. Um, my title and fun. The title of my film magazine is called Spaced Out. I have chosen the font below as the masthead of my magazine as it suits the theme of space and it has a futuristic feel and is quite eye-catching. The name of my magazine is called Spaced Out because the audience will be able to tell straight away the genre of my magazine and will be eye-catching for the target audience. So these are my sketches for my front cover and double page spreads and my main image will be at the front and big and then my masthead will be at the top and the cover lines will be down the sides and my double page spreads will have like a similar feel to it. Um, font type styles. In my magazine it will be sans serif fonts. This is because it makes it easier to read and it makes the magazine look more aesthetically pleasing. Additionally, it makes the magazine have more of a modern feel and that links to the genre of my magazine which is sci-fi. Sans serif font is clean and minimal which will be attractive to the target audience of 18 to 35. This is my mood board. My mood board presents a variety of sci-fi and space films which are most, important, most popular. This mood board will help attract people to purchase my magazine as it gives a small insight of what the magazine is all about. Um, the competitions of my magazine is Empire as they cover the biggest and best films that are put on the big, big screen including interviews with the world's biggest actors and actresses in genre and film. Um, Total Film, they cover everything on the big screen from sci-fi to action. They give the lowdown on all the latest movie updates and teasers and gossip. Um, and lastly, Sci-Fi Now, which is exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else. And that's so, Thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay, well, thank you very much, Katie. Um, that was a good presentation, thank you. Um, right, okay, spaced out. Yes. First up, I like the name. Thank I you. think that's cool. I think it's funny. Thank it you. Me, it made me smile anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Was there any particular reason why you, you chose that name? I just think, I mean, it's self explanatory. <laughs> I can't really say the word, but. I don't know, I just came up with it. Yeah, no, I think it works. I think it's it's a nice kind of, it's amusing, like I said. Um, it's the sort of it's the sort of title that I, sort of, I think, oh, that's kind of intriguing. I'm yeah. sort of, you know, you know, and that coupled with some nice imagery would possibly sell the magazine quite quite well, Thank I think. You. Um, which brings me on to, so it would be lovely to see a mock-up. It would be okay. nice to see what these things actually look like. Yeah. I mean, you've got a couple of very rough sketches there, yeah. but what we'd actually like to see is some proper, yeah. you know, worked up imagery. Um, so yeah, if you can talk, you know, produce that, that would be fantastic, I think it would really help your cause. Um, at the beginning you talked about, I think it was in the genre section, you talked about behind the scenes, Ooh. you enjoying that behind the scenes thing. Um, right? Yeah, but yeah, behind the scenes of like what goes on in the film industry, especially sci-fi, yeah. because the way it's like edited, um, to put out on the big screen, I think will be interesting to find out. Like, yeah, no, I think you're right. Uh, and the thing, the reason I wrote it down as a note here was because it's exactly the sort of thing I, I would enjoy reading about. And I yeah. think maybe that would be something that would be a really good selling point. Yeah. So if you were to focus on the making of rather than just the films themselves, then mm -hmm. I think that would be nice. And it's a shame because throughout the rest of the presentation, that, I, I didn't feel like that was sort of, you know, pushed forward a bit. There were a couple of points where you mentioned it, um, and I thought, oh, that's that's a really good angle. I like that. That would work really nicely. So 
I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. It's your pitch. But I think, you know, as a USP, that might be something that you could yeah. you could work up more and bring to the fore. Yeah. A little bit. Um, when it comes to the actually the presentation of stuff, I think it was, you know, it was it was fine and everything. I think some of your, your image choices were uh, a little kind of, well, I don't know. So there's one, I don't know, was it on the form? Uh, yeah, I think it was on the form yeah. page. Yeah, move it over here. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Keep going until you find okay. that one. That one there. Yeah. So you're talking about a price point in pounds. And the image that you've chosen to illustrate it with is... Dollars. Dollars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what I do, again, it's something that I've said to a lot of the other, the other um, students sort of, you know, who presented before was about details. Okay. And it is about knowing the detail and sort of thinking, right, okay, if I'm going to show this to people, what are they going to think of it? Yeah. Why is you, it's very difficult and it's, it's, it's a really hard thing to do, but to try and be really objective, just stand back, pretend you're someone who is being presented to yeah. and try and think, what would they say if they were presented with this stuff? Okay. Yeah? yeah. And if the detail doesn't work, there's no reason why you have to have an image there. You can just take it out. Yeah, okay. If you remove the image, it doesn't change the actual detail on the screen. Okay. What it does do is it doesn't put that question mark up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay? So just, again, something to think about throughout the whole presentation is just about that level of detail, I think. Um, similarly, it's weird actually. So the next screen on the content screen, I think it was. Yeah. Well, there's a QR code in the bottom, yeah. in the bottom right hand corner. Do you know what that is for? Um, it's for when on the advertising. It's just showing like when you scan it. It's, it's literally just a scan thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I scanned it. Um. When we were presenting, I scanned it just out of interest, just to show who it was. And it made me laugh. Because it's in loving memory of Rachel Alejandro. Bob, <laughs> I, don't know, it is. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, there we go. Interesting. Uh, anyway, <laughs> my, my point being, at this point, yeah, obviously you've just used it as a placeholder <laughs> yeah. just to say, look, here's a QR. Probably but be careful. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I said. If you're going to use an example, be really yeah, yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that out. Okay. No, it's just you know, if you want to put one up that's you know for something else, something a bit more specific, a yeah. film maybe might be quite nice. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. a QR code that links to a film that'd be good. Okay. Anyway, so just again, more about the details, something to think about. Um, if we go into colours. Yeah. But if you go into colours, I think the palette. I get the rationale. It works well with the imagery you've got up there. I just think it's very dark. I think there's, it, it's kind of a bit one note. It's just blue and okay. maybe black if you're lucky, yeah. but it's all very, very similar. Okay. But what you might need to sort of find is an accent color, yeah. something that you can use to sort of pop things out. You know, even out, if yeah. that is sort of white or yellow or something that kind of works with blue nicely, okay. then maybe that's worth thinking about and, and adding to your palette. I think yeah. that's cool. Um, yeah, the next screen down, actually, weirdly, before we go past, I didn't really know this one down, but it's got 18 plus only. Yeah. Is that, is that really? Is that, what's that? Yeah, it does say that. It's a target audience, but it sort of seems like, well, science fiction, oh, that's really broad. No, I do agree. 18 plus. Yeah, I agree. I was looking at that and I was like, probably not, like, I should take that out. Yeah, okay. It's just about, and this is what this is all about. Yeah. It's about making those choices so that you can edit stuff to make yeah. something better, just improvements, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Uh, right, okay, so if we can go to the resources screen, I don't know where that is. The next one. Right, there we go. It is the next one. Sorry, yeah. Right, now this isn't specific to you. Okay. Okay, you can take this information and you can put it out there to the rest of the class because every single one of you did it. Yeah. Everybody did exactly the same thing. And you talked about Photoshop being used to lay out your magazine. Yeah. Okay, that's not what Photoshop's for at all. Okay. Okay, you try and lay out a magazine in Photoshop, you will be frustrated to the ends of the earth. It yeah. will be so annoying for you. Specifically, if you want to use Adobe software, InDesign is the one that you want to call out. Okay. To lay out software. But that, like I said, that's not you. Yeah, yeah. It's everybody. Okay, everybody yeah. did exactly the same thing. And I kind of left it. You're, you're, un, you're unlucky because you're the last one and you got yeah. the kind of, you got the message. 
I just wanted to see whether that's kind of something that was across the board okay. and it is. Okay, yeah. so just look at that. Again, details. <coughs> details. Um, that's cool. Anyway, uh, um, font. Let's have a look at the font. What you guys call fonts, really a typeface. Um, so what's the name of the typefaces you've got there? I literally think it's called Space. Because I put onto font space yeah. and then I think in capital letters it was called space. Okay. But so if that's cool, that's fine. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. I think I just need to know what it's yeah. called because otherwise it feels like an arbitrary choice. Okay. It feels like, well, I've kind of got something but I couldn't really be bothered to find out what it was okay. called and uh, this will do. And we don't want that. We yeah. want absolutes and definitive choices. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. So your sketches, we kind of covered the sketches. They're just sketches. Okay. Um, it would be nice to see the actual finished yeah. articles. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because I, I'm much more interested in seeing how all of your stuff, all of the all of the typeface choices, the colour palette, the imagery choices, all of this stuff actually sits on a page, what it looks like, and then we can kind of go, wow, that looks fantastic. Yeah. It's really great. You know, it really works. Yeah. Brilliant. You know, and it's not it's not a huge job to do because it is literally, you know, find a really impactful image that you want to kind of advertise, basically, because mm -hmm. that's what they, uh, the, the, your cover does. Yeah. Stick that in there, typography, see how it works. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? Well, that's cool. Um, weirdly enough, you've got kind of sketches and then you've mm -hmm. kind of bookend it. It's weird. You've got font first and then you've got font styles. And I'm kind of, I'm intrigued as to why, why that, that happened. Oh, I think this is just like going into detail of like why I'm going to use sans serif fonts. Yeah. That's about it, right? I'm just, I'm, I was just sort of questioning why it was here and not actually on the page with the fonts. To be honest, I don't know. But no, I, okay. should, <laughs> I probably should have done that, but yeah. Okay. Again, I mean, I've mentioned this to a number of the students that it's about narrative structure and about thinking about how you're going to present. Yeah. Making that story work. Yeah. 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 From beginning to end, you've got to, it's got to have kind of a proper logical step journey. Yeah. And if you get that, you'll, feel, you'll find that people will be much more engaged because what happened here was that I kind of went, oh, hang on, did I miss something? Why is we talk? I thought we'd had something in between, and my brain was kind of going, "Why are we going back to fonts?" That's no, I think to be on the same. I was like, "This should have been higher up." Yeah, no, that's yeah. cool. I, uh, uh, you know, just again, take it away, think about it, improve, and everything will be great. Yeah. Um, competition, I think, was the last thing I wrote about. Yeah. And all of that works really nicely. I think you know your competition. I think was really well researched and sort of you know it, it's good to see that there are sort of you know you, you did have choices there that talk about it but the reason i'm sort of bringing it up and i think it goes back to my initial point about the behind the scenes and the mm -hmm. making of sort of stuff yeah and whether i mean I, the magazine sfx is that that's more about the making of kind of these sorts of films i just wonder whether maybe if you went down that route that yeah. would be kind of your competition or you could include that here yeah, because of it yeah yeah. Yeah. Um, apart from that, you know, that's great stuff. Thank you. Good presentation. Thank you. That's right. Thanks very much. Well done, Katie.